Today we're going to do some review for dots and ties. These are both both things that can take whatever note value you have and lengthen it in some way. Um, so we're going to talk about dots first. Um, a dot increases a note by one half. This example is a little bit hard, so before we look at that, I'm going to show you something in this tiny little video down here. So if I have a half note, half note, if we're in 4-4 four, four time, is two beats. If I add a dot to it, the dot equals half of whatever this note is. So in this case, half of two would be one. So two plus one would equal three. Okay, if I had a different note value, let's say I had a whole note, which in four four time is four beats, um, and I added a dot, the dot would not be one in this case, the dot would be half of whatever this one is. So this is four, half of four is two, so my dot is two. 4 plus 2 equals 6, okay? Let's continue with this um, example up on the screen. This one's just a little bit more complicated, so I want to start with easier ones. Um, so the dotted quarter note is equal to a quarter note plus half of whatever the quarter note is. If we're in 4-4 four, four time, the quarter note is 1. Half of 1 is 1 half, or half of a quarter note is an eighth note. Since an eighth note is half uh, the duration of a quarter note, we'll put the eighth note there. Um, as you can see, the dotted quarter note is equal to a quarter note plus an eighth note. So dotted quarter note equal to quarter note plus an eighth note. That's what we just said. You can also break it down, um, break down this quarter note into two eighth notes and see that dotted quarter note is equal to three eighth notes in total. Hopefully that's simple enough. Um, if you want to try out some other notes and practice on your own, um, you could try to add a dot to a whole note, a half note. We just did quarter note, but it doesn't help you. It doesn't hurt you to practice. You could add a quarter or add a dot to an eighth note or even a sixteenth note. Um, you could also practice adding dots to different types of rests. They're not very pretty, but you get the idea um, to give yourself some practice, adding those dots and figuring out how many beats they would be. Okay, moving on to ties. Um, ties are different than slurs. You see slurs all the time um, in our music, and we've talked about it before. Let me show you two different notes. Okay. So this one right here is a slur, and this one right here is a tie. The reason we know that is because a slur is on two different notes, and a tie is on the same note. I could also have a slur like this on two different notes. Tie is on the same note, slur is on a different note. Um, so the tie connects to, or some notes, it doesn't have to be two, it could be three or four or whatever, of the same pitch. Okay, so no note changes. They are used to let the duration of the note travel across bar lines, such as the measure, such as the measure line in this example. So ties are great if you get to the end of the measure, you only have one beat left in your measure, but you really want that note to be two beats, well then you could tie it. There are other times that um, you have ties that aren't just crossing over the bar line, um, but that's a little bit complicated and you don't really need to know about that. Um, the fourth and fifth notes are now combined. So if you were to play this, this one here got two beats just as like a half note would, but they, it had to be tied because it was a bar line. Um, if the measure, yeah, that's what I just said. If the measure line were not there, we could have written it as a half note instead, but because there was the bar line or the measure line they're calling it, we had to separate it into two notes with a tie, two quarter notes with a tie. Cool. That's all. Thanks.